What's going on guys? All right, today we're gonna to be doing a nitrogen leak search at this house. Uh, a system that we suspected had a leak a while back. Came back this morning, definitely leaking out somewhere. So we're gonna be filling this thing with nitrogen and getting the leak found and uh, hopefully repaired. Start the video and uh, I'll show you exactly how I do a nitrogen leak search. Wait to the end and you're gonna to get to see something uh, pretty cool. This is gonna be our system right here. It's a ream heat pump system. It's only a few years old. Um, we was not the ones that installed it, but I was here earlier in the summer. They didn't wanna do the nitrogen search at the time, wanted me just to fill it up, so that's what I did. And uh, now we're back a month later. It's time to find this leak, because this thing's empty. To start out is I'll put about two to 300 PSI on it. Usually start at about two, 250, and work my way up. and we'll stop and, and watch it for a minute, see how quickly it is moving. So the first thing I'll do is I'll start out at the outdoor unit and see if I can hear anything, um, take the top off the, uh, the unit and see if I might be able to pick up just a slight hissing noise and then use some bubbles, see if I can pick up where it's coming from. So I've been sitting here watching it and this thing is practically standing still. It's hard to imagine the leak is that small if it's leaked it all out. So uh, I'm not really, not really too sure why it's not showing up like it's leaking more. I'm just gonna throw a good bit more uh, nitrogen in it because normally you would start to see a decrease by now and it's really, really not doing much of anything. So I'm gonna push this thing all the way to around 500, maybe 600, and then do a pressure hold test. All right, so that's as much as I'm gonna be able to get in it right now. All right, so while that's going, we were at about two minutes and it's dropped 0 0.8, so. The first uh, thing you want to do is check your outdoor first since you're already out here by it and look for clues that uh, may show that it's leaking. Right off the bat, you can see that's all oil down there. Lots of oil. So we're definitely in the right spot. That's the first thing you want to find, no matter if it's out here or in the unit inside, you want to look for oil, traces of oil. So this thing's coming from right around here somewhere. So let's see if we can find it. I'm going to get some uh, bubbles. was quick I found it very lucky it is actually sometimes you can wiggle a little and it will make the leak show up a little better yep so you can hear this oh yeah can't really tell if it's coming from that solder joint where it connects. Let me get this cleaned up and maybe we can see it a little better. 
And just FYI, this is attached to your high side. This is where your dis this is your discharge line, and it is di uh, directly connected to that. And that uh, that sensor goes and cuts this unit off if it detects pressures when they get up over 550 or 600. Pretty normal spot for these things to leak, but not in that actual area. It's usually at that solder joint. I'm gonna get it cleaned up and see if we can get a better look at exactly where it's at so we can get this thing soldered up. You can actually see it. I was having a hard time still finding it. There is a hairline crack that's about where my thumbnail is, straight up that way. And it is cracked across the curve of this uh, copper. It's not a pinhole, it's actually like a crack. You'll be able to see it when I open this up a little more. You can push it forward and it almost completely stops. I have an idea where it's at now. We'll have to use some low heat and I'll finish getting this uh, nitrogen out of here and we'll do the repair. It's super easy to blow through this line, but it's, it should be extremely quick. So we should, we're not gonna have to run nitrogen through it or anything, but just uh, for sure, leave your gauges open. Uh, so you can uh, make sure this thing doesn't build up any pressure as you're as you're soldering. We're trying to do this as quick as possible and as with as little heat as possible, and just watch for your wires and everything else because you've got a lot of them going on in here. So try to do this quick and uh, without much heat. want to glob up some that way you can play with it once you warm it up a little really funny angle to be at I'm hoping that's all it took so let's check it out all right add nitrogen all right, we're sitting in about 160 psi should be plenty to make sure we don't have a leak anywhere. And it looks like we got it. Okay, so the final thing that I do is anytime there's a leak and I've fixed the leak, I will do a, uh, a tightness test. I fill it with uh, nitrogen. 15 minutes, you're usually pretty good. Typically around uh, 150, it's all that's really needed to, uh, to test the the, t uh, the tightness of the system, make sure there's no leaking. Um, 200's fine too. Um, it's not really necessary to go much higher than that just to check for a leak, um, cause it's gonna drop if there is one. So we're gonna start our tightness test. We're at 199 and you're gonna notice this, the, the, your pressures will go up and down if your temperature outside was to change dramatically, if it was to start warming up pretty quickly, or um, it was to start cooling off really quickly. Um, you will see it rise up and down some. And I just put this in so it will be um, equaling out a little bit, but we're going to start this and we'll come back in about 15 minutes. So assuming uh, you guys got measure quick, there's a, a test on here you go to quick test and then temperature compensated pressure test and this does the same thing as the tightness test on the s-man except this will compensate for you um, when the lines change temperature it automatically adjusts to what the pressure should be it's a really easy way to be able to do a tightness test without having to use any type of calculations in temperature rise and temperature fall um, because you always have to keep that into account once you get everything set up, you want to just hit start, you start the test and it counts down and then you can leave the app, do whatever else you're doing and come back. So we're going to let this run for at least 15 minutes or so and come back and check it. 
All right, so it's been um, about 20, 25 minutes. This thing just shows in seconds. You're gonna hit stop and it's gonna tell you immediately if you've passed your start pressure and your ending pressure. So this shows that we uh, didn't drop anything in 25 minutes. All right, so since our uh, pressure test passed and it actually never dropped at all, it went up a little, that feature in Measure Quick to be able to test your pressures and it calculates the rise and fall that you would be having with the, uh, the, the temperature of your lines is, is absolutely phenomenal. You, there is calculators that you can use to, uh, to see what your pressure should go up and down depending on the, the temperature, but uh, using that is just is, is awesome. That pretty much seals it up, literally seals it up, no pun intended. So I'm gonna get, uh, get the vacuum over here. We're gonna get it vacuumed good, get it down to 500 microns, try to get a little lower, but the time frame is, is starting to slim up a little. So we're gonna get started on this vacuum and uh, fill it up with refrigerant. All right, well that does it guys. So we got the leak fixed. The pressure's held perfectly, never really rose or, or fell. So that worked out really good. I also wanted to give a quick thank you to all of my subscribers. Um, had a lot of new subscribers lately. I uh, appreciate it so much and it means a whole lot to me and it, and it motivates me to want to put out more content and better videos. Check out HVAC Tech Tips on Instagram and TikTok. Uh, we're posting shorts on there just like we do on YouTube. There will be some uh, videos posted to, to Instagram and to TikTok that's not being sent to YouTube. So follow me on all three. That way uh, you don't miss any, any upcoming video clips or uh, full length videos. I really appreciate y'all truly. And um, we'll see you at the next video. Peace.